It was only a matter of time until Google moved beyond cardboard and started taking virtual reality seriously. Say hello to the Daydream View, the company's new $79 VR headset. It's powered by Daydream, Google's new Android-based VR platform, and it works with the company's Pixel phones with more compatible phones to follow. Clearly, it's meant to compete with Samsung's Gear VR, which also relies on Android and has the backing of Facebook's Oculus. So what makes the Daydream View different? Well, its case is mostly made up of fabric instead of plastic for one thing. The Daydream View also has a motion controller that can be used for navigation in games. The Gear VR just has a small built-in touchpad. Most importantly, Google's headset will be something other companies can actually build for, while the Gear VR only works on Samsung hardware. To get going, you just have to launch the Daydream app, plop the phone into the headset, and secure the elastic band on top. After that, you'll need to adjust the straps to fit it tightly on your head. For the Pixel XL, the setup seemed a bit precarious. That phone's a bit larger than the Daydream View's cover, and it felt worrying having such an expensive phone secured with a single elastic band. But it was actually pretty secure. You won't really be moving your head around wildly. Quality-wise, Google's headset resembles the Gear VR quite a bit. The actual screen resolution will vary by phone, but on the Pixel XL's 2560 by 1440 display, the VR experience looked pretty sharp. I also appreciated having a motion controller to interact with everything. It curves into your hands well, and its buttons are easy to distinguish while your eyes are covered. There's a touchpad on top, which also serves as your main button for selecting things, and there's a button that'll change depending on the app you're using. There's a home button and volume controls on the side as well. The remote is generally pretty accurate when selecting things, though it gets a bit finicky as its battery gets lower. Luckily, you can just stick it into a USB-C cable to charge it. At launch, Google has a handful of its own VR apps to explore, like YouTube, Street View, and Play Movies. There are also other apps like the Wall Street Journal and Star Chart VR, as well as a few games. Mechorama is a colorful puzzle game that has you moving a small robot around the stage. It makes pretty good use of the motion controller. There's also Hunter's Gate, a classic shooter, and Wonderglade, a collection of carnival games. In general, games and videos performed well, and I was particularly surprised how clear the VR experience was. The Pixel XL got a bit hot after playing it for a while, so you'll have to keep an eye on battery life. Comfort-wise, the Daydream View fit well, and it didn't fatigue me after long sessions. Having a mostly cloth-covered case really helped. You can also remove the face pad and hand wash it, which is great since it'll definitely get a bit sweaty. Obviously, the Gear VR has the upper hand at the moment with software, but Google claims it'll have even more apps by the end of the year, including Netflix, Hulu, and the New York Times. For now, the Daydream View is a solid first step for Google. But its success depends on more Daydream phones being released, consumers being willing to pay for a headset, and developers jumping on the platform.